Okay guys, it's I keep here and in today's video it's going to be a different video. We are going to patch the Wi-Fi for the Mac OS Tahoe and there's a new method that I'll leave the link in the description if you want to check out and as you can see right here this is my card that I have been using since the Mac OS uh the other version and as you can see right here this is the let me show you this is the version the model right here it says the bcm 94 360 cs and yes so in the in the guide of the latest kex that support the wi-fi i've got this other new card which is the let me just show you right here let me just zoom it or let me just focus so you can see this is the bcm 94 360 sorry the bcm 94 3602 cs and this one is the let me just focus a bit this is the BCM 94 360 CS. So this one. Hello folks, it's Ikeep here and in today's video I'm going to show you how we can patch our Wi-Fi. And in this method we are not going to use the Open Core Legacy Patcher. And in this one again in this method you don't need the the root you need to have the root so that you can be able to patch it this one it can work with your machine without needing the root permission so let me just show you this is a, my machine you can see right here is the tahoe version 26 comma 1 beta 2 as you can see right here and yes so here is the i'll leave a link in the description where you can get the tutorial on how you can do it but you need to have a specific kind of card so let me just scroll right here you can see this one this is the apple broadcom wi-fi companion bcmc is a mac and excel decide selected broadcom full mac wi-fi cards so you need to have a specific amount the specific card that is supported as you can see right here you say this is the supported wi-fi chips the bcm 43602 and this is the device id or the vendor id you can see and the bcm 4350 so you can see this one right here so i i usually use the bcm 43602 cs but i had uh, as you as you as you saw in the earlier part of this video i bought the supported wi-fi card and if you go to the hacking tool right here uh, let me just minimize it and if you go to the PCI, you can see right here, this is the BCM43602. And the, let me just, and the device right here is 0x43BA and 0x14EA. So, and if you come here, you can see this is the, this is the one. So it means it's this card is supported so i'll leave a link in the description where you can get this card from aliexpress and yeah so we can come here to the getting started we need to open the manual and as you can see right here so what you need to do uh, let me just come here again let me just open this one so we need to download this like the manual say 
so what I'm going to do I'm going to just download the zip like so and also you can come here as you can see right here so okay so let's let's continue so let's follow the getting started right here and uh, as you can say the y a v t d and um, so you need to enable v t d in your bios depending on machine configuration so what we need to do we need to copy this one and open the terminal paste it enter your password and it will create a directory under this path the user local share wi-fi firmware wi-fi and the next thing we need to come here let me just let me just so let me just drag it there and extract it extract it sorry <laughs> it's kind of hard so we need to we need this our firmware and mine is this one the bcm 43602 so again let's open the so the next thing we need to move this one for to the to this part right here so let me just first check if i was not there a while ago so let me just go to the folder and paste it so as you can see it's there i've already pasted it but let me just move it to trash so that we can so it it's not there so what you need to do we need to copy it so let me just come here and open again our terminal and this is our firmware so i'll just need to sudo cp and then drag this one right here and then paste where it's supposed to go like so enter your password so it's ja it's ja it's done like that so let us confirm the like so and paste yeah there we go you can see it has just confirmed our shark um and that's good so that one is done the next thing we need to inject device property so you can see right here we need to open our and as you can see let me just and this is our part you need to copy it i need to copy the device part like so and you need to update the bootloader in the config by adding the following property for your wi-fi card for example if you're using the open core you can add the device property add where device part is where you obtain so yes so this is what we're going to do and this is the is the example of the snippet right here and yeah so we are going to i'm going to use to copy just this snippet right here like so and let me just pause the video first okay guys so let's continue just some of open our config.p list let me just mount my efi so that we can i'll not be needing that one so i just need to go to the efi and i'll open it with 
visual code pro so that i can paste this snippet right here so let me just copy it dot p list let's see if we don't get any errors so let me just open it so if you go to the device property you can see this one our wi-fi so that's good and if you come here so let me just copy it device path open this one and uh, let me just add this one confirm that it is the right path and uh, yeah so it's not that one let me just cut this one and then paste it right here so this is the right path for our wireless cut so let me just close it and close this one uh, minimize this one so the next thing we need to download and install the kex you can just come here and then download the kex i've already done that you can see right here so let me just again open our uh, open call legacy patcher and drop the kex right there and uh, let me just remove all this and then let me just drag them right there so that one is done so as you can see right here everything is done and as you can see right here we need to update the boot argument in our config.p list so let me just copy it and as you can see right here it says it contain the bcm contain a little plugin you must ensure that apple BCM WLAN companion is injected after Lilo. So that we need to drag it right there. And we come to our and then paste our we call it our boot argument. So we can see right here it says our we need to paste this one. So guys, that one is done and I'll just save the config that e list, close this one and then I'm going to save the video and restart and hopefully we can have our Wi-Fi. So let me save the video and come back when it's done. And as you can see right here guys, after resetting MVRAM two times, the Wi-Fi is just there and you can see right here the wi-fi is supported and let me just i can just connect with all the wi-fi so let me just Sorry guys, I've just forget forgot my password. And as you can see right here it's connected. Let me just disable my Ethernet and as you can see right here it's not connected. So yeah, as you can see right here, the Wi-Fi is connected and let me try and connect to the internet so that you can you can see right there.
So yeah, there you go guys. You can see the I've just brought back the Wi-Fi in Mac OS Tahoe and this is the Broadcom BCM Legacy Wi-Fi. So guys, I'll leave a link in the description where you could purchase the card. So it's, it will help me out with the channel. And if you didn't understand anything, I'll just, what you need to do, you just need to go to ikeep.im. And then you can see right here, we have a lot of topics. And if you go to the notes, uh i've i've just write a note about this uh, but you cannot see it since it's for the registered users so what you need to do just come here and then register if you have any issue or problem i will help you right here you can just come here post your question right here and then you can also write your article it's just i've just created this new site so i was just a little bit busy so yeah so that is it for this video guys enjoy your new wi-fi and then in macOS tahoe and i'll see you in the next one peace